Hi, my name is Marco DeLuca, and I'm going to give you a quick overview and demonstration of Commerce Composer in the Webster Commerce Feature Pack 7 release. Commerce Composer enables your business users to be more agile without IT involvement. It allows them to take a set of building blocks and assemble them on a page. Each building block we call a widget. Each widget is both responsive and adaptive, and you're going to see exactly what I mean in a few moments. I'm going to show you a quick demonstration of constructing a page. As a business user, I use the Webster Commerce Management Center and I've opened up the Commerce Composer tool. The first thing I want to do is preview the storefront. This opens up the Aurora storefront that's newly designed in Feature Pack 7. I can navigate through the navigational structure and select the Men's Accessories page. Just to give you a quick idea of what this page looks like before we change it. You'll notice navigation down the left hand side, product listings down the right hand side. I'm going to start from scratch, start designing this page from the ground up. First thing I'm going to do is click show layout information. This tells us what layouts are assigned to this particular page. You'll notice no layouts are assigned to this page, so I'm going to start out by creating a new one. On the left hand side we have a series of templates that I could start from. I'm going to select a responsive template that has navigation on the right hand side of it. I'm going to give it a name so I can refer to it later. I could assign start dates, end dates, I could assign this layout to multiple pages or multiple search terms. What I'm going to do is just quickly design this layout. I'm going to start out by selecting a slot on the template and I'm going to add a breadcrumb trail widget and save and preview it. This allows us to view the page as we're constructing it. You'll notice only a breadcrumb trail. So we're going to continue adding widgets. So first we're going to add a widget to the right hand side. I'm going to add a category navigation widget in case we have some navigation. I'm going to add facet widget in case there are some facets on this page that we want business users to facet by. I'm going to add a heading widget to the page so we show the heading of the page called accessories. And we're also going to add a list widget. We're going to choose a Bizarre Voice product list widget and this will list products on the page with ratings and reviews. As I click Save and Preview you'll notice the store page refreshes and it looks quite complete already. It has a set of products down the left hand side with ratings and reviews. It has our facet widget down the right, heading widget, and some breadcrumbs across the top. So now what we're going to do is get a little more fancy. We're going to add some additional content to this product listing widget. And each widget has properties that we can configure. I uploaded some content and imagery ahead of time. And I'm going to just add it to my list now. What this allows me to do is insert content and intermix content with our product listing. This gives us a non-obtrusive way to show products with content. You'll notice products, content intermixed, more content intermixed with products. In my next example, I'm going to add a product recommendation widget to the right hand side of the screen. Again, I'm just going to click on my slot and I'm going to recommend products, catalog entries. And because we can put multiple widgets in a slot, I'm going to update the sequence to show it last on the left on the right hand side. I'm going to select my property to show as a vertical list of products and show maximum three products. And I have the option of specifying a specific list or adding a rule. I'm going to add a rule that I pre-configured called the Gusto Top Sellers. As I click Save and Preview, you will notice that my rules have fired underneath the covers and it's showing me a list of the Guso top selling products on my website. As a final thought, we didn't only assemble a desktop page, but in seconds we built a fully responsive experience for not just the desktop, but for tablets and for mobile devices. Thank you for listening. This is Marco Deluca on Commerce Composer.